And welcome back everyone to the NFL today. Today's hot topic exclusively for Sprint. As we begin week eight, which NFL rookies have impressed you the most? We start with the guy who is simply all oh, over. There it is. Right. Much, I'm going to go down to Atlanta. The most important position and the hardest position to play you know, in the NFL is quarterback. And I think what Matt Ryan has done down there for the Atlanta Falcons, making everybody forget about Michael Vick, has been nothing short of miraculous. I mean, he has been great. He's been great on the road. He's been great in tough spots. He brought his team back to win against the Chicago Bears, against a good defense. I mean, I can't say enough about what Matt Ryan has done for the Atlanta Falcons. Well, I, there are several guys, in there, and this rookie class has really played well. You look at Ryan Claddy, the offensive tackle for the Denver Broncos, Eddie Royal, the wide receiver for the Denver Broncos. <laughs> Both of these guys have played extremely well. Ryan Claddy has only given up one sack to a team that's only allowed six. But my guy is Chris Johnson. When you think of a guy that has 4-2 speed, you don't think of a guy that likes to run between the tackles. But that's exactly where he likes to run. And you hear home run threat, this guy's a home run threat. He's leading the AFC in yards rush with 549, and he's on pace to break the rookie rushing total for the Tennessee Titans slash Houston Oilers of Earl Campbell. Can, that speaks mm, volumes. Flat out go. No, no, he, 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 he's, he's big time. And I, but I'll say there's, there's two guys i got to mention. First is Gerard Mayo. This guy for the uh, New England Patriots has stepped in, token over for Junior Seau, talking about one of the most complex defenses in the National Football League, has not missed a beat, and is actually leading the team in tackles. So you got to give some kudos to him. But I'm going to talk about Matt Forte as well in Chicago. Matt Forte is a guy who stepped in. They lose Cedric Benson who takes over for Thomas Jones. There's instability at the running back position. He has come in right now. Leads a team in rushing. Leads a team in receiving. He's third in the National Football League or, or leads third in the National Football League in first downs. Leads all rookies in total yardage. This guy has come in right now and helped this team be four and three and only eight points away of being undefeated. Why did I know you're going to throw a defensive guy in there? <laughs> I know that was going to happen. The, the young kid uh, from Philadelphia, Deshaun Jackson, really has made an impact for that team as far as catching the ball 29 catches so far and also he's a punt returner he's made a big impact uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles I like him and also Matt Ryan you're absolutely right boomer this kid really has a sense in the pocket you could tell that he is a true leader of this football team and he has come a long way as a rookie so, so far in just a short period of time and I'm really impressed with Matt Ryan one of the better rookie classes that no we've doubt. had in a long no period doubt. of time as far as quarterback running back the skill players this is a very good rookie class here Dan acknowledges you're talking about the defensive players, and you know every defensive player in the league. Virginia <laughs> yeah, Flex, yeah. Coach AC, Coach Cowher. Coach Absolutely. is all over the defensive guys. <laughs> Richard yeah, yeah. Seymour wanted to kiss him when he was here on the set. Right. All right, folks, be sure to catch us at noon Eastern every Sunday right here on the NFL Today, at least on the forehead anyways. <laughs>